Oh my god, I don't really know how to talk in camera. My name is Ari. I'm an SDSU nursing student. I'm in the track uno, track one. And I am a senior, so I will be graduating in May 2020. I do have an externship and I do have clinical rotations every week. So you guys will be able to follow me. And yeah. So right now I'm on my way to my medical Spanish class. I'm trying to get certified through um, the Student Nurse Association at SDSU so that I can put more certifications on my resume for when I apply for jobs next semester. I'm a little late. It is 3.56. It starts at 4. And I, ooh, and I still have to pick up my friend. The thing about nursing school is you always gotta be punctual. I'm usually on time, but today I was feeling a little lazy. Sorry. I'll see you guys in my medical Spanish class. That's a lie. I'll see you guys when I pick up my friend for medical Spanish class that started one minute ago. Hola. Hi. <laughs> This is my friend Jules. She is someone I study with very often and I hang out with very often. I met her through school. I'm gonna see you guys in Spanish class. All right, so I just got out of medical Spanish class and I dropped off my good friend Juliet. And that's all we basically do is they teach us a bunch of important phrases that we might need to know for the hospital. And I do believe it is a really good skill to have to be able to speak Spanish, especially if you're in the SoCal area like we are. Hospitals have been looking for bilingual nurses. So having a medical Spanish certification of some sort is a really good idea. I'm gonna study and do some patient care worksheets. Tomorrow I have my pediatrics lecture. I like to type down all my notes. Too, um, scared to talk in public. So. No. That's messed up. Okay. All right. So today, <laughs> I feel weird doing this in front of you. So today I had my peds lecture, and I had a professional formations class where basically they teach us about like interview tactics at the end of my day i usually like to study at a cafe and that cafe happens to be a starbucks near my house it is currently let's see nine o'clock at night i am about to go to bed i'm just getting my stuff for the morning ready so i know that i have everything and i just have to jump in my scrubs and go so here, let's do this. These scrubs. I usually like to wear leggings under there, but I'm probably gonna wear them to sleep. So I don't really need to put them here. I have my tote bag and everything ready here. I recommend everyone to get one of these, um, I don't really know what they're called. Clipboards or something? Yeah, they're just like nursing clipboards. They fold and you can put all your papers in here. Um, and they have like a bunch of information and there's a pediatrics one too, I believe. But I just have the adult version. It has some pretty useful information. So highly recommend this if you're going to go to clinical and just nursing in general. So tomorrow I have my externship. So I usually go once a week on a Wednesday. I usually like to go to bed between like 9 and 11 if I have clinical or externship. But because externship shifts are 12 hours, I like to go to bed as early as I can. So yeah, I'll catch you guys in the morning. I'm gonna go to bed.
Okay. I know it's a little dark, but um, I know I'm at my externship. I am an extern in the med surge unit at Kaiser. Pretty far from my house. I usually like to leave like about an hour early before my shift because of traffic in the morning. I don't really know the difference between an extern and an internship, but it's basically like double your clinicals. It's, it's a 12 hour shift. You do have a preceptor or a nurse that you follow around, kind of um, hoping for an easy kind of day just because I'm pretty exhausted. It's always a learning opportunity. I just try to keep telling myself that because I am so tired. So basically our shift starts at 6.30 and it ends at 7.30. The reason why I chose med surge is particularly because of the semester that I'm in. I am in peds or pediatrics right now. So in our peds clinical, we're not allowed to do like any skills. And it's such a big change because in spring or our previous semester, we were um, in our med surge clinical. So we were allowed to do a ton of stuff. So I don't want to lose like touch with my clinical skills that I learned in my spring semester which is why I chose to do a med surge externship this semester alongside my pediatrics clinical. Okay, I'm gonna go finish my coffee. I'm taking a quick bathroom break. It's currently three o'clock. I am a good amount in to my 12 hour shift. This is around the time that I usually get really tired. It's make sure you get some coffee or drink some water, stay hydrated. Stay energized. We out. I just finished my 12 hour shift. I'm really insecure because I'm scared that I'm gonna run into like my nurse as I'm walking to my car. The 12 hour shift today went really great. Hello, okay, so right now I am working on my Patient care works. Ah. Oh my god, it feels so awkward talking at school. I'm working in my patient care work seat. But yeah, I honestly haven't really done anything. I've just been kind of reading comments. I can't do this. There's too many people. I'm just gonna get this studying and then I'm, I don't know what I'm doing after this. Yeah. I already did forget to film my morning. I didn't do anything this morning. I woke up, I went to my pediatrics clinical and I just got home. It is 2.30, 2.35. I got coffee on my way back because I was really sleepy. But yeah, I mean, my Fridays don't really consist of much other than going to clinical and studying. So I'll catch you guys later when I'm studying again for the millionth time this week. Bye. <laughs>
Um, ew, what the f There you go. My best advice to any nursing student out there is balance out your social life with your school life. Don't get too absorbed in your work because then you're just going to go crazy and you're going to cry. It's just going to be a repetitive cycle. Like, make sure you hang out with your friends. Make sure you get enough sleep. I mean, just have fun. You're young once. you got to enjoy it while you can. Don't spend all your days studying. Um, thank you guys for coming with me. And I hope you guys enjoy. Like and subscribe for future videos that I haven't planned out yet. How do I stop recording? Okay.